Hello everyone, welcome to BFSC Fisheries online class. Today we are going to study uh, in fish spoilage. We have studied till uh, fish spoilage in the uh, earlier class of BFSC Fisheries online class. Uh, in that we studied how fish uh, undergo spoilage after the death. As we know that uh, after the death there is lack of oxygen due to which enzymatic spoilage occurs. Microbial spoilage, chemical spoilage occurs in fishes. So de in detail we have studied all the methods of uh, like what are the causative agent of spoilage in fish. Now we have to study that what are the methods that we can detect this kind of spoilage in fish. And so to uh, uh, this uh, method to know is very essential as uh, after knowing the method of quality assessment we can detect whether the food is suitable for us or not so this is a method of quality assessment so we can do um, assessment it can be sensory assessment or can be chemical methods so in sensory method it can be subjective or it can be objective method in subjective methods we are mainly concerned with the organoleptic method can be there will be a biased in judgment so it is not a very useful or very much a famous method but the main purpose uh, during the sensory assessment is the objective method since we are having the sense organ we can detect any kind of uh, spoilage by our sensory organs only like uh, by seeing by touching it by uh, smelling it we can detect the kind of spoilage so uh, we can detect whether the food is uh, suitable for us or not so uh, the general appearance the raw odor the color of eyes the condition of eyes firmness of fish can be detected um, by this kind of activity that is sensory analysis and we can uh, reject it or accept it uh, by it only then is the uh, subjective method we have uh, studied the objective method uh, in objective method we can undergo like we have given paired type of comparison we will do like we are giving two type of fish then we can compare it with the other fish and we can detect whether both of them is uh, useful or some uh, only one is useful for us so we can detect by uh, pairing or comparing both of them then is ranking method we have to give a rank uh, out of the given specimen it can be 10 to 0 can be 0 to 1 to 3 so we can uh, give it ranking wise categorized we can do according to our objective assessment then is triangle test we will be given three sample and by the comparison method we can detect whether uh, which one will be more suitable then is scoring of attributes like we can score it out of 10 it can be a hedonic scale and we can score it and e e e c scheme are it is a kind of grading grading will be done as e is me it means that e is the freshest means it will be the fresh form of fish and c will be the unfit so it will be unfit similarly there was eu scheme e, that is european union scheme first occurred and by that method we can detect but it uh, though it was not so useful method because we cannot compare it between different kind of species means like there will be a given sp statement will be there and by that we can compare but we are not here species specified so this method was not very much uh, uh, come out with a proper outcome after that there was QIM method uh, put forth because uh, EU scheme was not so famous so QIM method was famous and by that we can we are species specified like in different species we can detect the kind of deterioration in quality assessment by taste panel like uh, by the taste method we can do that which one is the most satisfactory there will be the hedonic scale uh, as I have said earlier and you have to give the uh, scale wise you are allowed to uh, 
compare that which one is the most important like if it is given the zero uh, point in scale it means that it is very much um, useful for us to eat and if it it is given 10 uh, scale then it means that it is not so useful it will be the unfit form so this kind of scaling or grading is done in the quality assessment there is the chemical method of quality assessment in chemical method we will detect the changes which occur mainly in fishes after the death in uh, like in spoilage of fish we had studied that after the death there will be some kind of deterioration or changes occur in fish that in first we have studied the glycolysis the second one is uh, the volatile basis or nucleotide degradation occurs due to which color changes occur and all then is the li lipid oxidation so by the chemical analysis also we can detect the uh, kind of spoilage is it is going to occur if it we are going to talk about the nucleotide basis like we know that i am a so, like TMO is degraded first to TMA, then it is converted into IMA, then uh, similarly it will be uh, converted into ionosine, then hypoxanthine, then uh, it will be uh, ionosine, hypoxanthine, then K value will be there. So, the, this type of ammonia will be there after that. So, by knowing that which part it is mainly. Uh, come out like if it is uh, converted into ammonia it means that it is no uh, it is not more uh, um, like we can't eat that food it will be the unfit form so we have to detect the changes here so uh, there will be a uh, quantity given to us like if it is a uh, tma value will be that you are uh, mainly concerned that this will not be uh, fit for us so it will be uh, given a uh, it will be given like it is unfit so we are uh, going to learn that what uh, concentration should we ha are uh, to have a given particular compound will have so to make fit for us to eat so we are going to study that only like if we are concerned with the tvb or total volatile base nitrogen uh, in which tma and ammonia comes tma converted into ima that ionosine monophosphate then ionosine hypoxanthine and then ammonia so it is a nucleotide changes tvb and uh, nitrogen is a kind of quality index in which if we are concerned with the very fresh fresh fish in the very fresh fish tvb value should be less than 20 percent or 20 milligram percent but uh, if it is exceeding 35 to 40 mg then it will be unfit for us so we have to know this that what kind what um, percentage it is having tvb value then similarly tma is also a kind of quality index method in which the limit of acceptability is 10 to 15 mg tma or nitrogen per 100 gram uh, and if we are uh, to determine like method of determination how we can determine it can be micro diffusion method or conventional steam distillation by all those uh, these two method we can detect the TMA value in a given fish similarly histamine formation is also a toxic in fish and if we are if we are detecting these changes we will uh, surely know that the fish is unfit or not so in scrum white fishes it is mainly seen like a mackerel tuna and all in in that what happens is histamine is converted uh, histidine is converted into histamine or cadaverine is also a kind of toxic compound found in fish so these two compounds the histamine and cadaverine can be uh, useful to to detect the method so in US, US FDA it is seen that a histamine in fish tissue the maximum level should be 50 mg per 100 gram so if it is exceeding this value then it is unfit for consumption uh, and the method of uh, determination will be HPLC method that is
हाई परफॉर्मेंस लिक्विड क्रोमेटोग्राफी एंड द अदर इज इट इज़ ऑल्सो नोन एज स्पेक्ट्रो फ्लोरो द अदर मेथड इज द स्पेक्ट्रो फ्लोरोमेट्रिक मेथड सो हाई परफॉर्मेंस लिक्विड क्रोमेटोग्राफी देर विल बी अ मशीन इन विच वी कैन डिटेक्ट द हिस्टामीन फॉर्मेशन इन फिश द अल्टीमेट कंपाउंड ऑफ टी एम ए लाइक आफ्टर डिग्रेडेशन इट विल फॉर्म द इंडोल कंपाउंड इंडोल कंपाउंड इज ऑल्सो अ काइंड ऑफ क्वालिटी इंडेक्स मेथड इन दैट इट विल इंडिकेट द स्पॉलेज इन श्रिम फॉर इंडिकेशन ऑफ द स्पॉलेज इन श्रिम दिस मेथड इज मेनली यूजफुल प्रॉन विथ लेस दैन ट्वेंटी फाइव एम जी पर हंड्रेड ग्राम इंडोल इज ऑर्गेनोलेप्टिकली एक्सेप्टेबल ऑर्गेनोलेप्टिकली एक्सेप्टेबल सो इफ इट इज एक्सीडिंग दिस वैल्यू इट मीन्स दैट इट इज अनफिट एंड द मेथड ऑफ डिटर्मिनेशन इट इज ऑल्सो द एच पी एल सी मेथड एंड स्पेक्ट्रो फोटोमेट्रिक मेथड इट विल बी स्पेक्ट्रो फ्लोरोमेट्रिक ऑल्सो एंड स्पेक्ट्रो फोटोमेट्रिक मेथड ऑल्सो सो दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ डिटर्मिनेशन मेथड दैन निक्लियो टाइट बेस मेथड इज आई एम पी एच एक्स मीन्स हाइपो एक्सेंथिन वैल्यू द के वैल्यू इट विल रिफ्लेक्ट द क्वालिटी लॉस सिमिलरली हाइपो एक्सेंथिन इज अ काइंड ऑफ क्वालिटी इंडेक्स लाइक इट विल डिटर्मिन दैट इफ इट इज मोर दैन टू पॉइंट फाइव माइक्रो मॉलिक्यूल्स पर ग्राम हाइपो एक्सेंथिन कंटेंट देन इट विल बी सेट टू बी एज द स्पॉल्ड फिश method of determination will be silver salt method enzymatic method and the method of determination is immuno uh, immunoblization method or hplc method that is high performance liquid chromatography similarly the k value will also determine the kind of spoilage sum of ionosine or hypoxanthine to total concentration of other nucleotide is said to be the k value and the method uh, it was determined by rider rider was a scientist and the hplc method by which we can determine and it is said to be 20 to 25% acceptability will be there and if it is 50 to 60% it means the rejection so it is unfit for consumption if it is exceeding the value similarly a rancidity test can be uh, occurred in fishes it will mainly con- uh, concern with the peroxide value D- due to fat oxidation it mainly happens based on iodometric titration and the guide to quality of fat the fresh oil have peroxide value 1 milli equivalent oxygen per kg and the storage should be 10 milli equivalent per kg so uh, rancidity test is also a kind of quality index method a uh, thio bio um, barbituric acid value that is tba value measures the mal uh, maloaldehyde in fishes uh, this mal uh, maloaldehyde in fishes reacts and gives the red chromogen chromogen which is useful for the quality index method the other method or uh, instrumental method is the torimetric scale we can uh, see the image here this was the uh, developed by tori research center and the range should be 0 to 16 it is an important point to remember in electron fish tester ift method will be also there uh, if we are concerned with the texture measurement a texture measurement will be done by utm that is universal te- testing machine and the commercial text to texturo meters this will be useful to measure microbial method of detec- detection can be also done and it is bec- uh, mainly from the bacterial count if the bacterial count will be 10 to the power 3 to 10 to the power 6 then uh, it is said to be as the fresh fish but if it is exceeding the value that means it is uh, 10 to the power minus 7 organism per gram then it is said to be as the spoiled fish so these are the method of detection of a uh, kind of spoilage in fishes that how we can determine the fish is spoiled or not so the by mm, determining the changes in fish that mainly occurs can be chemical method can be sensory method 
कैन बी इंस्ट्रूमेंटल मेथड सो दिस वॉज ऑल फॉर टूडे थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट मोर लेक्चर्स ऑन क्वालिटी असेसमेंट यू कैन सिंपली टेक्स मी ऑन माई चैनल ऑन यूट्यूब और यू कैन फॉलो मी ऑन टेलीग्राम एंड देर ऑल्सो यू कैन कमेंट देर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव मोर लेक्चर ऑन दिस सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग इफ यू लाइक माई चैनल दैन प्लीज़ टू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब